November 5th, and pastor saying to us, Power by the Holy Ghost. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. You have what it takes to win, irrespective of the adversities you may face in life. If you found yourself in a precarious situation, be comforted. There's someone living inside you who is greater and stronger than Satan, the world, and all the troubles, elements, and circumstances of this world, the Holy Spirit. You are powered by the Holy Spirit. No wonder John said, You're of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. Become ever more conscious of the Spirit, His power, and glory and ministry in your life. Even in prayer, you must rely on Him to pray effectively. Some people pray, but nothing happens, because they speak words that aren't powered, communicated, or inspired by the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit is a missing element in many people's lives. He explains why they live as victims, whereas God has made them victors. In Ephesians chapter 5, verses 18 and 19, the Apostle Paul tells us, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Being filled with the Spirit is the answer. When you are filled with the Spirit, you will bring the supernatural power of God to bear on your words and all you do. The Holy Spirit makes a difference. He is the power of God and He lives in you in His fullness, in His entire glory and might. How then could your life be ordinary? In the book of Acts, the apostles understood this and ministered always in and by the power of the Spirit. Oftentimes, they were described as men full of the Holy Ghost. For example, Stephen in Acts chapter 6 verse 5. Then it says in verse 8, And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. The same can and should be said of you. You are full of the Holy Ghost and power, because Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, But you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You can have extraordinary results in your life and ministry because you are powered by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, I thank you for your love and sending the Holy Spirit to live in me. Now I'm filled with might, able to do all things and bring you glory. I'm empowered by the Holy Spirit to do great wonders and miracles, to effect positive changes in my health, family, ministry, finances, job, and in my world. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Luke chapter 24, verse 49, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, and Ephesians chapter 5, verses 18 to 19 of the Amplified Classic. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 to chapter 4, verses 1 to 3, and Isaiah chapters 40 to 41. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read John chapter 4, verses 1 to 9, and 1 Kings chapters 10 to 11. Rhapsody of reality.